Hello everyone, M2 River right here. So we were playing last night and some things happened and recording pretty much stopped. But I think I fixed everything now. Uh, so I'm just really gonna talk about what we've done. Uh, we did a lot of sifting here and so we updated and some of the sifters here, we're gonna try to automate this soon. Um, we had all sorts of things here and then we started. So what we did was we were we needed to get some RF power going. And so we were like thinking lava is probably the easiest way. <clears throat> so we decided extra utilities is probably the way to go. But it's kind of changed a little bit. You, before you could just put down a magma, magmatic lava generator and then put fuel in there and you were good to go. But they've changed it a little bit. Now that's kind of a two part system. You have a grid power. So you kind of start out with these things that so just manually spin them and it creates grid power and allows machines to run like this one, for example. So we make some, some things to get this resonating generator to go. Um, at first we started with, uh, the water mill, but the water mill has got an animation to it. Uh, and it causes so much lag that it was like impossible for me to play. So we decided to go with lava mills and they don't produce uh they, they they don't produce too much they're two two per side is what it is so if they need lava blocks adjacent to it it produces two grid power so there's five here and five lava blocks uh adjacent to it so that's 10 total so that's enough to run those four and those three so seven seven generators and you don't need to wire them up or anything you just put them down and then there's like a passive power generator and there's other ones too like a uh, solar panel and whatnot but these these work well no lag on these so uh decided to set up collagen over here and we also decided to set up lava here since we're using lava anyway so this was transferring to this tank and then I got some pressurized uh, fluid conducts going and those are going into these uh, me over they're going into these uh, magmatic generators and they're producing power and that power is feeding into uh, these sag mills right and this one is just doing gravel and this one is just doing is doing gravel to sand here, All right? And then this one is doing uh, gravel, sand, and then the sand's getting broke down to dust in here. And these are full. That's why they're not going anymore. Uh, I, apparently, I do need to make another box for silicone. I don't know why silicone is going in there. I'll debug that later. But anyways, yeah, so now we got uh, a bunch of... Dutch dust, gravel, sand, and the flint is going in there too because it was producing that. Um, I haven't figured out how to put it back in the system yet. Don't know if we can, but it's okay. I can just pop some out and put it in there. Um, so, yeah, we got that going. That's automated now. That's that's going to be really nice and helpful. Uh, we have another sag mill here, and then we have two alloys, smelteries. Uh, one's in furnace mode, and one's in alloy. Just always nice to have them switch. You, you don't need to do it that way, but that's how we did it. Uh, and we were using the smell tree over here to double our ore. So we had this going automatically, basically, with just the clock. And so it would just pour out and go to the ingot, hopper, pull it out, and go into this storage. But <clears throat> after we got what we needed, we uh, we don't really need it anymore. We can, we can use it for tinker tools, so we'll probably just keep it for that. But that'll be about it. Um, so now you put in whatever you're going to do in here and it gets pulled into this one and grinds it down to get two ore out of it and then it goes into that furnace and the furnace smelts it down and then it puts it into this one so we got all sorts of iron and all sorts of gold from our sifting and nickel so yeah we did a lot a lot of sifting um we noticed that our mob spawner over here it had a, it's like it has like a shelf on the back side and the shelf mobs were just standing on so we made a bunch of pistons and put back there and the pistons it pushes them off the shelf and then they fall into here and get into the punji sticks and 
and die. Which, I think those have a durability on them, because it looks like there's mobs in there, so I'll have to go in there and fix that, or change it to something else, like maybe a spike. Ooh, yeah, that's probably what I'll do. I'll just put a spike on there, and that'll, that'll fix it. Um... This was going to be the start of a farm. We were going to do a farming station and try to get into the... the it's not magical crops. It's uh, agriculture. I, I, I don't remember the name of it. Uh, it's, it's a new mob that's like, that's like magical crops, but it's not. Um, <clears throat> I made some hydrangeas, which they die over time. Uh, but... They should have done well enough to uh, fill up fill up this pool pretty good. Yeah, it's not full, but it's 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 pretty good. And that's just just from those going, which is no big deal. They're a fun flower. They just they just sip from that and then link into that spreader, and that one's going to that and going in there. That's it. Uh, I made a monocle. So I can see what's got a radius effect of what. Uh, we extended our... We extended our uh, farm out this way. And we got some cows going. Um, this hopper hawk is picking up picking up all the, the poop and things like that. Uh, we have diamond chickens now. Two of them spawned. Um... And then iron chickens as well. So that's fun. Uh, and these cows finally spawned, which is nice. Uh, I'm going to make a breeder system so we can get leather from them. Probably do that in the next episode. Uh, I'm not sure yet. But we do need to get... We do need to get um, agriculture farm going. Which I think is going to be downstairs. So I extended the platform downstairs by, by a lot. Uh, so my idea oh, come on let me down my idea of what i want to do is i want to do like um we have this floor i want to do like some farming the the magical crop stuff on this and then um i'm gonna have like a sub floor kind of like kinda like quarter of the way down from there um and that's probably gonna have all our power and stuff on it and then uh have probably like an access channel or something going up to just bring this so all this stuff is probably going to get moved down except for except for this this will this will probably like these these bo boxes here they'll probably be up here but this whole system will probably be down there generating more so we'll never run out but i got to do some adjustments on it because uh it like this should not have sand in it i don't know why there's sand in here and this has sand in here too. I don't know why it shouldn't. Um, Cause that's disabled. That's disabled. Yeah, they're all disabled, so they shouldn't shouldn't be getting it unless it's pulling out of um, the back of this. Cause I think it's set for in and out. But all the silicone I need to I need to put into a, a box somewhere. Because it's just getting pulled out and put in there. But yeah, so so that's pretty much pretty much what's what's happened. Just kind of kind of an update because, like I said, the the uh, recording didn't happen too too good. Like the the audio was just terrible, and I didn't want to put that out because you could only hear like every other word that I was saying for some reason, and I'm not really sure why. But I think I fixed the issue now. And so, yeah, that's that's where we're at. We're going to be doing another one of these um, here probably tomorrow. Uh, and I'll probably get that one out sooner because I, I feel bad that we didn't actually get any of the shenanigans that was going on. Uh, but there sh it, sh it should be fun. All right. Well, hope you guys enjoy the update and I'll see you in the next one.